Let's begin with the issue of recurrent collapse of the national grid. The House of Representatives has expressed concern over frequent collapse of the national power grid and its attendant social economic consequences on Nigerians. In a bid to find a lasting solution, the House mandated its Committee on Power to conduct an investigation into root causes of incessant national grid collapse in the country in order to forestall future occurrences and protect the country's already fragile socio-economic environment. Jiri, yes, when we're growing up, we know of up Nepal, oh, they've taken the lights, oh, this. Now, this is something that is new totally in terms of the frequency that collapse of national grid, this um, frequent collapse of national power grid is not something that we are used to. Yes, there can be outages and everything, but in the session, we continue to have systemic failure over and over again. In 2022 alone, we've recorded over, it has happened over five times. Yes, um, we are in the 10th month of the year, and we've had eight, eight. system collapses. Eight. Yes, um, in February, we had two. And then in March, April, June, July, August, and September, we had one each. Uh, it is said that in the last 12 years, we have had 223 partial or total uh, collapse of the, the grid. That is a frightening, that's really a frightening uh, figure. 223 in the last 12 years. It's something to really be worried about. My what own, do you call it? 223 partial or general or total collapse in the last 12 years. 223. That's, yes, that's what we've had. You know, um, when you have total collapse, it means that it's a total shutdown. Electricity uh, is not supplied at all from the National grid has a, a total blackout across the country. There are all kinds of reasons um, for this. We've talked about some of those reasons in previous editions of uh, this program. But the House of Reps said a few things that should really bother us. The TCN, the House of Reps is saying that they need to move away from analog system to digital system is part of why we have this problem. Then the transmission lines, you know, I said uh, last week that some of these transmission lines have been there since the 60s. There's a need to freshen them up. I know that this government has invested a lot, at least more than previous administrations, on the uh, um, uh, power grid, but those investments have to be sustained because if we do not do that, we won't be able to solve this problem. I was watching the Minister of Power, you know, saying, look, uh, we are going to do this, we are going to do that. And yes, even shortly after, he was waxing Lyrica. Mm -hmm. The thing happened again. Collapse of me. You know? So we have a very serious Shameful. problem of power generation in our country. If we can't do 5,000 consistently, the highest we went was sometime uh, last year when we did 5,373 meg megawatts. Because, yes, the Jenkos have capacity to do more than 10,000. But the TCN, I mean, the Transmission Company of Nigeria has shown that it does not have the capacity to wheel all of what these guys are capable of generating. This thing is a relay. If others can do 10,000 megawatts, then transmission company must be in position to wheel all of what they have generated. Yeah. But the infrastructure cannot support that. In fact, there was a stress report. Some years back, I think about uh, two, three years ago, that showed that even that the TCN or, or the what's it called the transmission leg mm. of the power chain was the weakest of the three mm. because the, all of them can generate or, or can 
and do more than two arms have been privatized. This is the only one left in the yes, hundred percent federal still government the, of yes, Nigeria. Yes. Federal that government transmission has forty percent in both Disco and Jenkos, mm -hmm. but it has one hundred percent stake on mm, the transmission. transmission yes, and it's the one showing the weakest. Yeah, it's showing the weakest because. Jenkos have shown they have the capacity, they have installed capacity to generate in excess of 10,000 megawatts once uh, there is availability of gas. The discos have shown that they have the capacity to also distribute in excess of 6,000, 7,000 megawatts. But I'm saying that we have never the transmission company of Nigeria has never willed up to 6,000 megawatts. During the first solar years, the highest that we willed was 5,313 or so. I remember. 5,300, um, maybe 373 or so. Just in that region, certainly not up to 6,000. If at least I can't remember the figures, certainly not up to 6,000. And the minister that succeeded him also couldn't take it up to 6,000. So that leg has to be sorted out. Mm -hmm. We spend so much of our time criticizing mm -hmm. the discos because the discos are the face of the sector. Yeah. They are the ones we see. They are the ones who collect money mm -hmm. from us. Mm -hmm. But they are not the only ones. They have ones. the contact with the retailers. Yes. Directs. They are not the only ones with issues. And if we want to solve the problem, we have to adopt a holistic approach. You can't uh, work on this and leave the other one. All of them, you've got to do something to make all of them operate at tip-top level. I'm sure today, Avatar, you grew up in Nigeria that you have this instability, but not as bad as this. But what we are experiencing recently, about this is the new angle generally. I, I can't remember any time when I was growing up and, and I hear of the collapse of national grid. Well, 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 it has to be because uh, when you look at the fact that uh, the, in 2013, the whole electricity sector was privatized. What would have expected uh, at the, uh, after the, I mean, the uh, dismantling of the uh, power holding company of Nigeria, the private sector that we were expected to show much from would have done that. But like he explained, it's like when you have a six lane road and there's a particular junction, all the vehicles coming on that six lane road, they have to enter into a narrow road, which is about two lane, there will be a confusion at that particular end. And every other vehicle will be waiting for them to go in there. Then you have a build up. So what we have now is that the sister arms that are on that TCN, they can perform based on their locality, based on the needs of their generating areas. But the one that is to put it cannot perform. What that one tells you is that we still have to do something about the TCN. Either in terms of the organogram or the operational efficiency of the TCN, that is, when, you, when, when, when all the Jenkos generate power and they give it back to the TCN to transmit, yes, for security reasons, for national integrity, you can say that the TCN should not be fully privatized. But we have to do, look at the structure of that particular TCN that is making it impossible for it to push out the power that is generated, because that is the whole issue. Like he said, if each of the discos, because they are the disciplinary company, if they can have that power, they have the capacity to give it out. But the person supplying to them have no capacity to give it to them. So I think we have to look again at the structure of the TCA company, because it's not for lack of uh, uh, investment in the sector. I think this government has invested. But we also have to admit that before 2013, a lot of governments have been investing without a particular headwind. So I think the problem is that it will continue to get worse until we do something about the capacity or the structure of the TCA itself to be able to distribute what the Jankos have been able to give to them. So that, I, think, I think that is the problem. The you structure know, is wrong. And yes, you said we've invested, but I don't think we've invested enough. Some people are analyzing that in the, we need a certain amount of money to be invested yearly for like 30 years consistently before we can think of getting there. Yes, that's talking about the entire sector. Uh, sector. There's the entire sector that we are talking about. For example, the Jenkos have invested significantly, but that level of investment that we've seen from the Jenkos, we've not seen from the Discos. So there has to be um, 
substantial investment across board, mm. freshening up equipment. For example, uh, um, is the transformers, for example, that ensure that in some communities people don't have light, or whether the transformers go bad. Sometimes people have to use their own money. Communities will contribute money to buy a transformer for them to have light. Mm. And you that they have bought a transformer, for you to be able to distribute light to them, you still come and take money from them. You will not refund the money what they, they have spent. So that's why mm. um, our friend, the brilliant lawyer, um, G.T. Ogunye, was saying Nigeria is a self-governed country. We are mm. actually governing ourselves. We provide our own security. Mm. We mm. provide our own water. Mm. We even our roads in some mm. our communities, we do those roads for ourselves. We buy in, uh, transformers to give ourselves electricity. So it's actually self-governing that is happening. <laughs> government <laughs> ought to do a lot everything. more. Yes. You don't look forward to government doing anything. For Almost. Do, 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 what is it? To provide security for yourself. Yes. You have secure, to provide security. To secure your area. Secure. Uh, you pay <laughs> your streets. You put uh, OPC. They, you pay them money. They are the ones who man your gates. <laughs> so what, what's now the function of the government? So that, that, that's <laughs> what... Uh, things that, Just do it yourself. Things that in other countries you take for granted that government will do for you. Those are the things that you must do for yourself. For to survive? Yes, in our country. Unless they'll kill you. <laughs> that is the thing. You want to travel now. The mayor was telling me the other day there was, a, um, I think, a funeral in Kogi State. He had to take policemen from here. He paid. You say in spite of all, uh -uh. was he feeling secured? <laughs> Did you see one advert uh, 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 directed at people going to the east in December? Mm. Where the, a company, a company, a logistics company, said, "Okay, this is the package. We we'll provide you so-so number of policemen. Um, we, then the vehicle we we'll provide you with vehicle. Once you can pay this amount, we we'll take you to the east and back." Did you see that? that? Did you see that? <laughs> I saw something like that. Uh -huh. So this is the thing. In the past, <laughs> we took our security for granted, but now. Before you move even to Ibadan, you start thinking that ah, along the road I could be kidnapped. Mm -hmm. There is nobody, even if you are going to Ibadan, because we've seen people kidnapped along this Lagos Ibadan Expressway, mm -hmm. you your heart will be in your mouth. You will be you will be thinking that God, mm -hmm. just take me there. God, mm -hmm. take me there. After this one, I won't, I won't travel again. Just just take me there. Mm -hmm. That the fear is there for everyone. Not to talk of long distance journeys that you especially used to take for granted. You just go to you know, <laughs> and enter a water plant. It's not eh? possible again. Ah, so, so <laughs> it's possible. That was when it was. Kara, I can't pass Kara. Eh? I can't go past this Kara. <laughs> you just enter, you just, yeah, I'm going to Kaduna. <laughs> just like that. You are married, you are just enjoying life. You just go to you know, just like that. You know, at the snap of your fingers, you, you've traveled. You dare not do that. <laughs> Ah, so this is the thing. Mm.